Yo, man, one of the worst things that can happen to you is when you go back to your car and you parked it somewhere and the fucking windows are all smashed and shit. So I'm gonna tell you what, what to do in Canada when that kind of stuff happens to you. Number one, don't panic, don't panic. This isn't an armed robbery. They they broke your window. Chances are they're miles away from you by now. So don't don't panic. If you feel unsafe, call the cops right away. Or go to a public area, somewhere where there's a lot of people around, like a gas station. Gas station is where I would go because I can vacuum the glass that's shattered and things like that. I'm telling you right now, unless your life is in danger, the cops are not gonna do shit. They're not gonna help you out. They're just gonna take a report, file a report, and they don't care about your feelings. They don't care how unsettled you could be because this feels like it's such an invasion of privacy. So it's very unfortunate. Go to the gas station, vacuum all the stuff, you know, go home, cover cover the, the window that's broken. If you lost things, go to the police station, file a report, but just know the report's not gonna do, help you get anything back. Unfortunately, if you call your, your insurance company, they're not gonna help you because a window like this, it's not gonna be more than $500. And most people's deductible is $500. And you don't really wanna put an insurance claim on your car over a window that's broken. So what happens when your car gets broken into? You have a $500 headache, inconvenience, and plus the things that, that were stolen. So don't be leaving shit in your in valuable stuff in your car another thing too most people won't take this as an excuse to call in sick to work what you could do you can go to work all right and there's a lot of companies that will just go and install it at your workplace the mobile windshield replacement you know what i mean that's that's something that happens i know you're upset right now i know nothing makes sense you feel like fuck, man people are people are fucked up bro people are dumb and this is something that happened to the best of us so I'm sorry it happened to you, but just know that $500 is gonna fix this headache, move on, and next time, you know, just be a little careful where you park, but this isn't, this isn't something you did wrong. This is just, there's shitty people out there, you know? Another thing too, if you ask the building for cameras and report and shit, they might not even waste the time of the day, man. Like I said, this is a $500 problem. Nobody's life is in danger. You just feel invaded. I get it, but what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? The cops are not gonna help you. You know what happened? I'll tell you. If you if you actually going through this shit today, breathe, relax a little bit, listen to this video, cause that way you just chill a little bit. When it happened to me, I was freaking out. I called 911. The 911 is like, are you in danger? No, okay, so what do you want me to do? That's what they say to me. Then, oh shit. Then, then I was driving to the gas station and then I saw this cop just sitting, right? And so I knocked on his window. I got out of my car, I knocked on, I tapped on his window like that. And uh, and I told him what happened. And he's like, yeah, I just filed a police report. It's not it's like, I don't see anybody. How could I, what do you want me to do? I, I can't arrest anyone. Like, yeah, it's 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 such a bad feeling, man. But I'm telling you, it's nothing but a $500 inconvenience, bro. And that's what I'm gonna leave you with. So you're good. I'm sorry you're dealing with this. You in the first, and you're not gonna be the last. But you're gonna get through it. Peace.